Electric vehicles are a load of rubbish, aren't they? They wouldn't be any good for you, would they? In this series, I run through four years of owning a Nissan Leaf. I take you from the start right to the finish. Check out all my episodes to see whether or not owning an electric vehicle will be for you. Or is it like the critics say, an absolute waste of time? Uh, I am, believe it or not, driving. I didn't get a chance to film it actually arriving because he got this industrial estate where it's been delivered to and he was stuck outside in all sorts of business. I won't go into it to bore you. But I am driving a Nissan Leaf, the new model. And I'll tell you something, you know, I put a smile on my face driving this thing. It's completely, as you'd expect, and everyone says, it's completely silent. Uh, to be honest, I had prepared myself for that, but there's, there's something very strange about actually physically sitting in it and driving it yourself I must admit very strange very strange feeling but I'll uh, continue on try not to crash into anyone of course because that would be a shame it's got a lot of go I know that much there's no gears to change you just put the throttle down throttle thing on the floor and you press it and it goes somewhere Things happen, but there's no gears. Things happen and it goes all the way up to the maximum speed. Do you have electric charge points in your brand new Asda? Let's find out. Quedgley, Asda Quedgley. Well done. Two seconds. That's the card. That's the charge cable. And then we've got two dual charging. And I got this card, which I presume I register. Brilliant. As the Quidgley. Well done. Well done, as the Quidgley. Very, very impressed. Um, so that was a worthwhile little trip. Because the answer to that question is yes, they do. They've got a single tower with two cars can charge off it. Um, so this is morning campers. Today, oh, what's icy? Today should be the last day that I have to come into this garage, turn this off, unplug it, grab all the cables out, and then put them in the boot. Should be because today oh it's on lock I forgot that if you put it on lock and you don't put it on auto comes a bit of a problem in all honesty this button here look so on auto it will unlock but you have to make sure you put it on auto not on lock right that one I'll come out so I'm getting my charge point fitted to the wall today. So that light doesn't stay on long enough either. It switches off too soon. Sometimes you have to be quite quick. Um, right, so I'm getting my charge point fitted today, all being well. It's coming at 8.30. Um, the regime of getting this car unplugged, shut up, thing put in the boot, car being rolled backwards a little bit then the garage door being shut down and then locked and then the keys taken out and put back in the car um, all that should come to a stop um, I shall show you where I'm hoping to get the charge point fitted look at this ice do, do, do. trying to slip over get the boot opened up noisy boot noisiest boot in the world Sometimes doesn't shut properly. Has that in, has now. So we're hoping that it will go. I will park, I usually park there when Mrs. Parks. Hoping it's gonna go on that wall there. And the gap. That board is in the way, but as you can see there's a stepping stone there. Hoping it's a five meter cable, so we're hoping that it will reach the car. So all being well, it will.
lovely. Oops. That's a, that comes out quite easily. It's a daisy. I presume. Uh, oops, a daisy. Sorry, Leith. There we go. That's back in. Uh, don't worry if you knock that out. <clears> hey, <throat> okay, there's quite a bit of wear running down here. You can see that's all paint come off, all chipped. Really, really chipped. And there is a, presumably it's coming off the front wheel, flying up and hitting here. Quite some considerable damage there because it's only three weeks old. So, if you're um, thinking of uh, keeping your leaf for a long time, uh, put a protection strip on it like this back one's got look. Because it out, it's got an outcrop here, stones hit that and bounce off. If you can see that. But even so, there is dirt ingress here. So it's not going to last long. It's going to come off at some point. Uh, there's actually a lip here. I'm not sure if you can see it. Yeah, there's a lip. Quite a definite lip. It sticks out quite a bit. On the other side, it's nowhere near as bad. Yeah. Um, The stones chips aren't as bad. I'm not actually convinced that I would almost say that this side doesn't stick out as much as the other side, if I'm honest. Hmm, let me have another look. I'll tell you if I'm convinced or not. That's exactly the same. Yeah, this side definitely sticks out. That definitely sticks out more so that's a fitting issue yeah that's why it's getting damaged it shouldn't do but it is getting damaged hmm word of warning don't know if i should contact Nissan about it or uh, it's just a fitting things uh, shoddy if i run my finger up there it gets stuck on that back door because it's a shelf that sticks out it's smooth up here and it protrudes the very base there hmm okay new week that's the mileage so off we go. Okay, so news. Susie's leaf is arriving uh, today. Could be this morning. So there will be two leafs traveling around locally. Um, I will document throughout the day to see how it goes. What do you reckon, boys? Getting a leaf. Yeah. Um, is Susie actually getting a leaf? Yes, she's getting an electric car. A Nissan leaf. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. The same colour. Exactly the same colour, yeah. Yay! Same number plate. <laughs> no, different number plate. Same colour, same model. Wow. <laughs> Actually, the number plate should be a 14 plate. Mine's a 13 plate. Anyway, wow. latest dudes, latest taters. This one's actually coming from Birmingham. So it'll be interesting to see how it arrives. I mean, mine arrives with less than half a charge. Um, and a missing panel underneath the dash. So we'll see what charge this one arrives at. Um, and hopefully it'll all be okay. We shall see. It's actually another leaf up ahead. It's got adverts all over it, so I'm not sure what that's to do with. 100% electric look. So presumably that is the Nissan garage. So it is. Worth documenting that the boot strut is now fixed. I forgot all about it. And that happened on its own. So it's a wearing in issue. Oh no, maybe not. No, still getting it. Nowhere near as bad. Nothing like as bad as it was. No, I can hardly make it do it now. So it seems to have resolved itself. It's interesting. Okay, end of the day, seven o'clock, back home. And then back out again with the missus, Jim. Um, guess what? You may have noticed there was no updates regarding Susie's car. That's because it wasn't delivered. They, I had to chase them a couple of times um, to find out that the driver hadn't actually turned up even by 1.30 in the evening. Evening. 1.30 in the afternoon, 
to the Nissan dealer in Birmingham. I then got a call probably about three o'clock ish saying do you mind if I come tomorrow instead so there we go should be here with us tomorrow morning all being well so that was not quite smooth as a delivery I got from Manchester which the guy was here pretty much first thing in the morning which is probably what you'd expect to be honest if you're spending that sort of money on a car that it would be there on time but uh, apparently according to the Nissan garage this guy is a lovely chap but he can never do anything on time so I made a bit of a suggestion because he, he said that last time when he ran it last week um, and I sort of laughed it off but this time on reflection I thought perhaps you know I should say something so I, I said if you've got a delivery driver who constantly doesn't deliver on time and that is his job you know that is his job that's what he does maybe it's time to start thinking about getting someone else to do the collections and deliveries um, if the only task he's given is to collect and deliver in a certain time frame and he can't do that as nice as he may be it's probably worthwhile not employing him to collect and deliver cars or is that too harsh right it is morning the following day so the guy should be here this morning as I arrive at work I'm going in a little bit earlier I'm trying to get it all signed off I'm kind of hoping he's gonna be there he said he would be there a lot earlier so um, we shall see if it's uh, in the car park actually a vibration coming from the passenger chair inside I've tried knocking it and it's um, I don't know if you can hear that. Another noise. I'm not sure if you can pick that up on the camera, but it's uh, another noise. A little bit annoying. You're going along. It's at slow speed. You're going over a little bit of bumpy ground. Da -da 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 -da. So uh, I'll report that one back to Nissan as well. Here we come into uh, work. Let's have a little look. See if we can see a Nissan Leaf. Should be on a low loader or uh, on a vehicle transport trailer, but not really sure. It's either here, which not here. He said he was going to park in the uh, car park. I can't see it anywhere yet. I wouldn't be surprised if it's not here. But I'm kind of hoping it's going to be. sign of it. Right, I shall give him a call. So I'm actually going out to meet him, so I'll just give him a call. Uh, I'm going to meet him en route. So hopefully we'll meet up. He's on the A40 at the moment. So uh, should see him in a few minutes, all being well. So here we go. And there's a Nissan Leaf. We park it here. And there it is on the truck. So there's the car. Nissan Leaf. Second one. All nice and new. And there she is. Leaf number two. Off she rolls. Hopefully. There we are. Beautiful. Two of them. What do you think about getting your uh, new leaf, Susie? Quite excited. Quite excited? Yeah, I'm hoping I can remember how to drive it. You always drive it easily, wouldn't you? <laughs> <So, so. laughs> 
I can't, I can't, I can't make it clear on video. <laughs> I got any charge in it is the first question. <laughs> I don't know. What did mine get delivered on? I can't remember. 43 or something percent or 46 percent. Okay. 40 something. Okay. I think you'll be pleased to know that apparently according to Lloyd because I haven't even been in it intentionally so you get the new car door opening ceremony. Um, <laughs> I, I had a look to see if the panel was missing so I opened the door and leaned in but that was it. I wanted to make sure it was okay because obviously mine was missing. It's still there. Oh thank goodness for that. Pull in here. <laughs> Should I crash into it? <laughs> Please don't. Whoa. Please don't. Ah.